Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a double unboxing from Louis Vuitton. So I bought these two items. We're going to keep one and we're going to decide between the two in this video. And I have tried to do a lot of research on both of these. I'm gonna have links to the videos that I watched down below. Um, the biggest videos that made the biggest difference and impact for my purchasing decision was Dr. Alba Plans on YouTube, as well as This Planned Life. Um, this Planned Life, I actually got a lot from her video because she has a full comparison video on these as well, and I highly recommend watching that one. Um, if you're trying to decide between the two, if you want a full in-depth detail on the pocket agenda, which I'm about to open, um, then I would definitely check out uh, Alba Plans' um, video that is well, that will be linked below. So wanted to share that. And with that, I'll probably be referencing those. And then just what I've seen on like TikTok and Instagram as well. So let's go ahead and start unboxing both of these. And I don't know which one's which, but uh, let's go ahead and open them both up. So we have the Louis Vuitton pocket agenda cover for the first option. This retails for $325 and it is 3.5 inches in width and 6.3 inches in length. And then there are three card slots and then two large pockets on the side. And then we also have the Braza wallet. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, this one is 3.9 inches in width, 7.5 inches in um, length, and then 0.8 inches in depth. This one has 16 card slots. It also has a coin zipper pouch, a two bill compartments. We have three different pockets as well and then an ID holder. And so to kind of backtrack a little bit on both of these items. So as y'all know, I'm on this like budgeting like journey <laughs> and I'm trying to get better at marking my daily transactions. And so I was thinking of using um, one of my cloth and paper planners, the spiral one that has the weeks. And I was like, well, I want something that I can put on the go, but I don't want to use my PM agenda for it. And so I was like, okay. Um, I remember a few months ago I was watching again, Dr. Alba plans video when she got it, I think right before the new year. And I think that was just like always in my mind. I was like, well, maybe I could do that. Cause you could fit like cash in there and I could use it as a wallet. And, um, I was like, but I just, I didn't know what planner I would want to use. And then in one of the cloth and paper subscription boxes, um, you actually got this little pocket plus and I was like, oh, that would be perfect. And so I bought this one and then um, I decided to just go on YouTube after I purchased it and look up different videos on this and like different planners people use because I have a few options that I'll share um, and I was like I think this would be great um, but at the same time I was also thinking of getting um, a coin pouch and a wallet <laughs> and I've just had coins whenever I get changed because I've been using cash more like roaming in my purse because I don't have a dedicated coin purse and I don't want to put it in my Chanel card holder. And so I was like, oh, well, I'll just get um, like a coin pouch or something or I'll start using my key pouch maybe for coins. Um, and then I was like, well, maybe I should just get a wallet. And again, I'm just trying to share my thought process with you guys. And so I was looking at the Victorine wallet and then um, that one's just like the more compact like wallet looking version. 
but I was like, I kind of want just like a full size wallet because I have a lot of card holders that I use and I still want to use my Chanel card holder for like my main wallet. This would just be like a secondary to hold all of my like credit cards and stuff. And so I was like, this would be great because I could just like put them all in here. I can like just keep my store cards in here and then like mark my transactions in this one. But then I saw this wall play on life's video and she was comparing these two, which again, that's where I got like the, like I was like, oh my God, I have to order this one as well. So like 15 minutes after I ordered this one, I placed the order for this one because it had everything I was looking for. There was a coin section. I can put cash in here and I can keep more than just three cards in it. And so to be completely honest, I'm more than likely going to be keeping this one unless for some reason I just feel like I can't, unless I can feel like this one fits the bill, but I think this one would actually be perfect for what I was looking for. Um, but I still wanted to compare the two, try them out and see, because you never know. And so, plus it, I did like next day shipping because we're about to travel, so I couldn't cancel the order. So here we are. And um, for comparisons, I have a few planners. So I didn't want to order the Louis Vuitton insert because I want to try something different. I've already, I'm trying it in my PM agenda. And although I do really like the weekly version of it, I can have the, if I can remember, I'll put like the photo here of what it looks like. I was thinking of getting those inserts for my medium ring and I was like, well, maybe I could put it in here. But I want to try something different. So I ran after I placed these orders to um Aaron Condren and I also went to Chanel if you all saw that unboxing um but so which I was very happy that that happened because I was able to get an SLG I wanted but I ran to Aaron Condren and I got a pocket planner and then I also have the pocket plus notebook and then I placed a large order for cloth and paper for my medium ring agenda and I purchased their little pocket planner as well which is a lot lighter my concern with this one is that because it has that coin I'm not sure what it can fit and like looking at it now I can definitely see you can fit something in here but something kind of like bulky like this I just don't know if you are a Hobonichi Weeks person um apparently it does fit in this planner um, I think you can trim it down and put one in this so I was also looking as that as an option but again I want to use it for budgeting and so I feel like I can make one of these options work, but also try different things. So I might try and hope in each weeks. We'll see, um, especially since it fits in here. But let's start with the agenda cover and see what fits in here. So again, this is the Erin Condren um, Pocket Plus. They also only have the colorful versions of this one. So that already kind of like throws me off because I would like the neutral. Um, but if anything, my dad said he would like to have, try this one out. So... It won't go to waste, even though it's pink. Um, but let's see, just looking at this, this one will not fit. You would have to trim it down, like the edges, to fit in here. Um, but even then, it wouldn't fit in this one. I have seen this on Instagram being used in the pocket cover, so I know this one will fit. So let's try this. Oh, you might have to trim it down too. Uh, yeah, you would have to trim it down just a little bit to fit it in the pocket, but I don't want to do that because now looking at this, I don't want to have to trim things down, so I'm probably not going to keep this one to be honest with you guys. Um, oh yeah, and even then, if you were to trim it, you have to trim it a lot to fit it in the pocket, but it is doable. So you would have to do the top, the bottom, and then the side to fit it in here, but then it would be sticking out a bit unless you trimmed this so this one is a little bit more compact um of course the louis vuitton planner fits in here perfectly so you don't have to worry about trimming anything there um again with the agenda covers i'm very like i'm very concerned about the leather and so the coil alone i wouldn't want to press it against it because then you'll have that impression in there um that's something with i mentioned with the uh desk agenda is I got the Hermes planner because it has that protectant coil. So although it does have a coil, it's protected and it doesn't make impressions on the leather. Um, if y'all don't mind, then I mean, of course, put what you want in your planner. But that's just something that I'm trying, like I'm trying to be more mindful of. So a soft bound is really what I'm looking for for these planners. 
um, or covers or whatever you want to call them. But yeah, this one's actually not going to fit. So this one I think is definitely going to get returned. As for the Brazzle wallet. So again, this is what I was looking for with a full length wallet, a place for change. But with that, I know it'll be a little bit um, like bulkier. And that's my concern with this one. So this is a very bulky planner. And I believe the Hobany Shoe Weeks are just as bulky. So I'm trying to keep that in mind. So this is what this one looks like. But I think it won't close. Yeah, this one wouldn't close. So this one... Looks like it's going to go to my dad. So this one doesn't fit. It's too thick. So maybe the Hobonichi Weeks is a little bit thinner. I've never seen one in person, but this Will Play on Life's um, video, she puts a Hobonichi Weeks in there. She also has a setup video that I really liked as well. And I recommend looking at those if you have one and you're trying to use this for Hobonichi Weeks. Um, but this Erin Condren planner will not fit in either one of these. So there with that. Um, so let's try the cloth and paper. So again, this is their... Pocket Plus, Graph Notes, I think just called a notebook. And then I ordered their um, black, it's like $9, it's $8.99 planner. It's, I think it's only for like three months or something, but I figured for $9 it was worth a shot. And what I love is just that it's like a compact book. Um, I went to Target to look at what they have for pocket planners, just trying, like literally just trying anything. And I didn't see anything I liked. I'll put a photo in here if I can remember that as well of what they had. I'm sure those would actually also fit in here. I just want something and here's what I'm looking for within with the inserts. So I want to use it for budgeting. So I just want to be able to mark transactions. So I started in here the transactions and that way I can just kind of like an old-fashioned pocketbook and I might just run to a bank and go get one um, But I want something cute and if I can add plans to it That's why I'm excited for the cloth and paper one. I would rather get that because it's there I can't remember what it's called, but it's the and again I'll insert a clip in here the inserts that have the blank spot and then the grid and so I could put like appointments and stuff So it's still like an on-the-go planner on that side and then the grid on the side I could use for the transactions. So that's why I'm looking forward to that one the most. Um, the Hobonichi Weeks, I've been watching, and I'll leave her videos down below as well, Julie Plans. And y'all know I love Julie Plans um, and her content. But she has a pocket one as well. And I've seen how she set it up. And so I'm kind of getting ideas from that too. In case the cloth and paper doesn't work out, you can get a Hobonichi Weeks on... Amazon and it's like $20 from what I saw or like $30 and so I might get that and try it out and see how it fits in here and then maybe use that um so we all see but all that being said here is the notebook in here and so why do none of these close so this one doesn't close um like correctly I should say so it will close but you can tell it'll definitely leave that impression on the side so I don't know about this one either to be honest I think my options and what I'll probably do is get a flat um planner without a coil that's a little bit thinner so I'll probably order the Hobonichi Weeks um I might use this temporarily and just see how it works but it will be a little bit bulky so you can use something to like hold it down or just like keep it in place but I do think I'm going to keep this one because it addresses all my other needs and I know I'll find something for this especially since I have more room. With this one you're very limited on what you can put in here and so um, as much as I like it in the compact size if I just wanted to use this as an agenda cover I would but here I have like a three in one coin holder wallet and I'll be able to plan in here. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one and returning this one. But I'm really excited. If y'all have either of these, if y'all <laughs> would like to share what planners you use or how you like add things to it, I'd love different options. Um, I know there's also um, Coco Plans on Instagram. I've been following her. I think she does so many two weeks and then she has like traveler's notebooks. So I might explore that route as well. I just want something to budget in. Like really, I just want something to do my transactions in and I really don't care where it's from. I'm all for expanding on different planners you can put in here, but I do love this and I am really excited to um, use this. So with that, we can do like a little setup as well. So I have all my like credit card, my store cards, and then I have like my business account for like content creating and then my bills account. 
um, cards here. So I think for store cards, I'm just going to keep them up front so I can easily grab them. And what I like about this is that I can, um, whenever I use a store card, I'll like have this immediately so I can write like whatever I purchased. And that's really what I'm looking forward to most. Does this, why is this not opening? Okay, that's weird, but here is one credit card. And again, with the credit cards too, it'll get a little bit bulky, so that's also something to keep in mind. And that's where I think too that the cloth and paper um, planner might work best. And like some of the ones, even from Target, if that's what you're looking for, would work really well because I just realized none of these cards have the um, number on the front. So here are my three store cards. I could also keep my gift cards in here. And then in the back, I will keep my, I can remove this, like important debit cards, but that way I just have them as a reference back here. But that way I just have them. And those do have numbers on it, so I didn't wanna show up. But like, I have those in the back, and then I have these, and I might do what I just did with that one and do like every other one. Yeah, that looks cuter since there's just so many. And what I like is that there is so many. So again, I can keep like gift cards in here and just store whatever I want in here. I could even put my insurance cards in here if I want. Um, but like my main credit card and like my debit cards, this is just for secondary spending and just to um, store all of these. Cause typically I've kept this in my key pouch, but this is a great way to just organize it and have room for change and cash. And yeah, I'm really excited for this one. So yeah, other than that, that is my double unboxing. Um, again, I kind of knew already that I was probably gonna prefer this one, but still wanted to share this with you guys just in case you were looking at these. Again, check out everybody that I mentioned. Um, those videos really helped me with like wanting to try both of these out. But yeah, other than that, that is going to be it for this video. If you all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.